Man, that's a big pussy. What's going on, guys? It's Troy Dan here. And today, we're going to be watching the 15 fattest animals ever. That's right. We got fat cats, fat dogs. I, I don't know what's in this. I have not seen this, but that is a fat cat. That is that, that is that got to be the largest cat ever. The, the, I, GG, I thought my cat was fat, but no, no. This takes the cake. Um... Yeah, I have not seen it. Link in the description below. Let's go. Let's do this. What on earth did they feed this cat? I don't Extreme know. Fries. Hit the animal kingdom. Did that thing fart? Fifteen fattest animals ever seen. Did he? Did the number fifteen? Garfield the cat. Hold on, man. How does this happen to a cat? How does? What are you feeding it? McMeals? I don't yeah, understand. Like cats are being kept as pets. It's vital that their owners keep an eye on how much food they're eating. Yeah. Don't let them overdo it. Without having to hunt That's for a themselves, it makes it almost too easy to overeat. And they... Sometimes things can get way out of hand. How does this happen? In 12, after his owner died, Garfield the cat was taken into the North Shore Animal League of America in New York's Long Island. The staff there put the giant feline onto the scales, and he weighed in at an astonishing 38 pounds, Thir by far the heaviest they had ever seen. What? The cat had been given a luxurious lifestyle by his previous owner was fed only I'd... the finest of foods in huge quantities. Yeah, huh? Sadly for him, his diet was radically changed after being taken in by the Animal League. Oh, well, that's awesome. The regime was designed in an attempt to help him lose some 38 pounds. Oh, he's so pounds. cute, though, but he's so fluffy. his weight. What a 14. Bob the Hedgehog. Bob? Bob the Hedgehog has become somewhat of a celebrity in Japan, not because of any particular skill or ability. But as a result of him being the fattest hedgehog in the country. Those things poop all the time. His owner says he's like this because he's like just eating too much food. But there surely has to come a time when you stop giving it. I can't them. imagine how much that hedgehog he poops. The hedgehog cafe where guests can drink tea or coffee while being surrounded. I've been to one of those creatures. in Japan. And if they're taken in by the cuteness, can pet them as well. There are, of course, serious concerns about the ethics of a place like this. And Bob is used by animal rights campaigners as proof of how bad the cafe actually is. Uh oh. For a hedgehog to get to this size and to be exposed to humans so regularly in this kind of way isn't a natural existence for the animals. Well, no sugar. They happy, they most probably aren't. Well, okay. I mean, well, who, 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 are you, who are you? Who are you to tell a hedgehog if it's happy or not? All right, come down, Peta. As one of the closest species on Earth to our own, it's perhaps no surprise that orangutans can put on weight in a similar way. Are those to how his ears? Do. It looks like ash it's cheeks. It's a particular problem for those that are kept in captivity, and Oshine is a perfect example of this. Well, she was taken rip from your head the wild off. when she was very young. Easily. And spent several years in a safari park in Indonesia before being adopted by a family in South Africa. They treated her like a child, dressed her in clothes, and fed her candy and processed foods, which meant that she soon began putting on far too much weight. The American diet. She began acting like a human. Look, titties on her. She needs a never been gorilla bra. Kind. By the time she was in her adolescence, she was too difficult for the family to take care of. Uh huh. It was at this point in 2010 that she was taken to Monkey World in the UK, Monkey which is World. a sanctuary dedicated to looking after rescued primates. Since then, she's been on a strict oh diet. Oh my and god! The excess pounds. Wow! But wow! Can I look at that again? Like, I don't know what gorillas or what is this? A orangutan, orang bang? I don't know what this is, but I don't think they usually Pinky look that big. In the UK, that is huge. Which is a sanctuary dedicated to look at it's just one titty. Primates. She's so Since fat, she then, got she's one been titty. On a strict diet to help her shed the it's, excess it's, pounds. It's, it's like a loaf. But it's a long and gentle process that'll take several years to prevent oh, no. causing her any undue stress. Did she get up? Number 12. Squirrel. Squirrels are genetically programmed to spend the summer hoarding and eating food, so by the time the winter begins, they're more than prepared for the coming seasons when food will be in short supply. But if you're in North America or Europe, you've noticed how squirrels would appear to be getting larger. Yeah. With some looking like they've spent a little too long in the food stores. Rather than being the result of being overfed or becoming increasingly greedy, this is actually thought to be the result of climate change. They naturally get larger towards the end of summer, but this that fat is nuts. burned off during the winter months when they need to produce extra warmth and only have their reserves to feed off. Oh, he's so recently though, summers have been lasting longer. Food is more widely available, and winters Yo, have been so cold. Yo, that's a squirrel. Meaning that's that by the time silly. spring okay. comes around, they already have much more bulk than normal. After another summer of feeding, they look much bigger, and this okay. is only going to get worse in the future. F in the chat, man. Oh, Squirrels getting fat. 747, the bear. If you ever visit the Brooks River in the Katmai Yikes. National Park in Alaska, you'll be sure to see a number of grizzly bears. But there's one that's the big daddy of them all. 
uh -oh. appropriately named 747. I wonder what he's packing. Jet. He's so big that his big belly virtually drags along the ground, and he's often seen eating a huge amount of food. During one observation in 2018, a big he ate 15 whole salmon in a row, which is the equivalent to around <laughs> 67,000 calories. That's a lot. That's a lot of salmon. While that's a fair amount. for bears to be extremely heavy during the summer, which ensures they have enough body fat to survive the months of hibernation, 747 takes this to the extreme. Due to his bulk, he's the dominant bear along the river. Uh -huh. This means he gets the best fishing spots. He gets the best him bear to pussy. Increase his size in comparison to the others. It's he doesn't have to go down. They go down on her. One and a half times him. the size Excuse of an ordinary bear. It's a male, right? Makes him by far the fattest known one on record. Number ten, oh. Cassie the border collie. Oh shoot! Anyone who's ever had a dog will know they will quite happily eat anything they can get their paws on. Yeah, like going poop. If you poop. fall into the trap of giving them too many treats, they'll soon begin to pile on the pounds. Cassie, the border collie. Oh my is an God! What is this? this? After having owners who fed this her a like diet a of takeout, roast this dinners, this ain't real. This is like a Photoshop. At the age of seven, she what spent the her entire life being accustomed to what eating hell? food. But That's a thick boy. Not Damn! Only did she weighed nine Damn. stone or 126 pounds, but she began developing what? serious health complications. When her elderly owner became ill, she was taken in by a canine care trust, Jesus. and it took three people just to lift her. What? She was put on a strict diet of two bowls of dry food per day, and oh, amazingly, I hated that. lost half of her weight in just six months. Nice. That's a Number fat nine, dog. Goldfish. Goldfish are thought of as the easiest fish to look after in a tank. And are often the first that Don't they live forever? Some, some enthusiast will have. But they have a propensity to keep on growing and can soon become far too fat. There's an illness called dropsy that can result in them looking swollen and Whoa. almost like they're about to explode. Whoa. But overweight goldfish don't necessarily suffer. 600 from pound this. life. As descendants from carp, it's possible for them to become supersized, much bigger than the 10 or 11 Huge. inches long that they can become in a tank. I saw an exhibit They'll in Japan with these. They eat food if it's given to them. They so fish like these giant ass goldfish. Feed them a small amount each day. Awful. If they put on too much weight, their bodies will become bulbous. Their eyes may even be covered over so they can't see. Oh, good lord! And on some occasions, they'll wow. begin to swim upside down because their swim bladders don't function properly. Hey, this is one pudgy ass. Before thing. we move on, what? be sure to subscribe to Top Fives with notifications on. Number eight, Mabel the pig. Look at that. Aren't Porker. exactly known for being picky eaters, and healthy ones will have a few rolls of fat on their body. Oink, oink. But Mabel, a pot-bellied pig from Boston, had been overfed Holy virtually her entire what life. What the? When animal rescue Yo. officers took her from her owner's home, she weighed a whopping 196 pounds. Sorry, how so much? Twice what how she much? Home, she weighed a whopping 196 pounds. That could feed a village. Which is more than twice what she should have been. She was so heavy that the rolls of fat covered her eyes. Oh and no! Unable to even stand up, oh, good her Lord. immobile life was making her awful. extremely depressed. I bet. Luckily, she was rescued in time, with officials needing a backboard to lift her from the house. She was taken that... to a nearby farm, where she was put on a regulated diet and soon began to lose weight. Did they eat her? As for her former owner, this wasn't the first animal that she had mistreated, and authorities began actions to prosecute her. Yeah, jumper, man. Not nah, jumper, dude. Any pets ever again? Jumper and put on Facebook Live. Number what? Seven, what? Darius Sorry. the rabbit. How big is the largest rabbit you've ever seen? There Ten are different pounds. breeds that naturally grow to differing sizes, but the biggest in the world is called Darius, who's a continental Darius giant. Darius Miles? Incredibly, he's four feet four inches long and weighs 49 pounds. And as you can he's imagine, four taking feet? care of an animal like this is no easy task. <laughs> what? The family who owns him have another, which is almost the same size four as foot well. bunny? And according to them, it costs them more than $7,000 per year to feed them both. This includes 2,000 carrots and 700 apples, as well as a bowl Dude, of carrots are free. They in the ground, cuh. And a bale of Why are you paying for them? Just week. make them yourself. Luckily for them, it's perfectly healthy for this breed to grow to this size. Okay. But they won't get any bigger. Rabbits have a specific time window during which they bulk up. And once it's passed, they stay like that for the rest of their lives. Interesting. As long as they're fed yeah, a that. regulated diet. All right. Number six, Lion the Hamster. Oh, boy. Hamsters are naturally chubby animals particularly when they're storing food in their cheeks. Uh -huh. But it's very easy for them to become overweight when they spend their lives in a cage. The main reason for this is a lack of exercise. Having a wheel isn't necessarily enough because not all hamsters will spend a lot of time on it. They're also I used to gerbils. bulking up when there's plenty of food in preparation. A lot of gerbils. I didn't put them up in a tube or anything. So available. So when they have continuous supply, they'll put on weight fast. Lion the hamster is a great example of this. 
and at just a year old, he had become at least twice the size that he should have been. A cheese. Luckily, in his case, he was able to move and climb by the time his owners took steps to reduce his intake. I mean, but it's a hamster, dude. Are so fortunate. It's a rounding. Number five. Whatever. Raccoon. What the f while many people see raccoons as nothing more than pests, there are plenty who love the creatures. Yeah, they they're they're all right, man. They, they got their moments. Needs to be done carefully, because just like every other animal that's kept in captivity, they can soon put on a lot of weight if their diet and exercise isn't carefully monitored. Pet raccoons face a further problem than cats or dogs. Who, white women? There aren't any specially formulated foods that have been designed for them. In the wild, they'll be constantly active and eat food that they have evolved to hunt. God, that is round. They will chow down on anything they're that given. That is a big boy. Food. And this We're is designed some thick for a different today. species. It doesn't provide raccoons with the particular nutrients they need. And if combined with a sedentary Jesus. life, they'll soon become as round as a ball and will get to a place where they oh, can't that walk is on their scary. legs and have to that pull is a themselves demon. across the floor. Wow, that's Before, so sad. Kookaburra. Some of this is sad. Kookaburra are a species of tree kingfisher that are native to Australia and New Guinea. They spend their lives in a range of environments where they search for insects to eat. But despite being closely related to kingfishers, they don't spend oh, wow, so much it laughs. time around the water. Growing up to 17 inches long and weighing yeah, on average 10.5 ounces, their small bodies aren't designed to handle too much weight. Thing. So if they manage to overeat, they can develop some serious problems. This kookaburra that was recorded in 2017 is about twice the body size as that it should be. Like that thing looks like they're going to bite. Man, that doesn't look right. Homeowner, it doesn't seem to be able to fly away. That looks, that According is so them, bad. The bird had hopped onto what the balcony is? from a nearby tree. That just looks like a fat they bird. Were able to return it to the forest below. I mean, that's what it is. That's a fat bird. Perhaps this fat bird was able to fly, but unsurprisingly, it was quite happy to take the easy route back to its home. In recent years, no. instances of seeing overweight individuals have become increasingly frequent thanks to the availability of waste food around human communities. And unless steps are taken to contain garbage more effectively, it'll continue to be commonplace. I mean, is it the worst thing? We get, you know, well-fed birds? Great white shark. Seems pretty... Great white sharks are the most ferocious predators in the ocean, and there's hardly anything that they can't hunt down if they've set their minds to it. John Cena, though. If you've been lucky enough to go cage diving with one, you'll know just how big they can be. With larger individuals growing to around 20 yeah, feet I can't even long swim. and weighing up to 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds, all this right. doesn't mean they can't get even bigger when they've managed to find a massive hole big. of food. Or when they're pregnant. However, if you pregnant? ever they encounter fudge? one of these fish, you'll be left wondering fish whether fudge? the cage is strong enough I thought they to laid eggs. Bro, this what? monster great white was seen in 2015 know. during a dive off the coast of South Africa. And as you can see, she's clearly had her fill of the local seal population. She's a typical length for the species, but her bulk is far greater than you'd normally expect to see. Yo. Those on the dive estimated she was definitely heavier than the 5,000 pounds the largest ones typically weigh. That is and could potentially be much more. You can tell she's grown beyond her ideal size because she's of been her in, uh, humans. through the water. And it almost seems as if she's struggling to swim. It's most likely that she's in the latter stages of pregnancy, too, which ah. could account for her lethargy. Still, this is one fish you definitely wouldn't want to be in the water with. Yeah, no, I don't want to be in the water at all, so... Number two, Obi the Dotson. Oh, There's Lord, no another dog. Dotsons are one of the cutest breeds of dog. Who's with number one? a range one? of different colors and hair types, it's almost impossible to not be taken in by their charms. But like with other dogs, they don't know their limits and will continue to eat fatty foods if they're available. It's not unusual to see chubby sausage dogs out for walks. <laughs> and some have bellies that <laughs> almost reach the ground. They're fatty! Especially if they have short legs. This poses a particular problem because the breed is renowned for having delicate spines, so being oh. overweight can lead to significant issues later in life. Possibly the fattest Dotson Good in the Lord. world, at least for several that, years, was Obi. That is the definition of a th thick-ass boy. That is the fattest Dotson in the world, wow. at least for several years, was Obi. He was owned by an elderly couple who were unable to take him out for many walks. Elderly people, showed man. their affection towards him by giving him treats, which resulted in the poor dog ballooning to a Holy whopping shoot. 77 pounds, what? which is what? three times the weight what? he should have been. What? It got to the point where he couldn't what? even get up to walk or respond to anyone. Oh when my God! Things had got way out of control. His owners gave him up for adoption. They gave him up, he was man. Oh, I hate people. I stupid old uh, man. Came in by a trainee to set up a crowdfunding campaign to help raise funds God, to take care of old them. people. No, the I don't hate. I hate people. To lose forty pounds. I hate these old people. Managed by regular exercise and carefully planned diet. And then at that point, he underwent surgery to remove the excess skin. Now Obi is a perfectly healthy hey, weight dubs. and looks whoa, just like whoa. any other Dotson. Yo, He's what proof the hell? No matter how out of Yo. control an animal's weight gets. 
There's always a way to reverse That's the crazy. trend. That's crazy. Here we go. Number effort. one. Number one's coming though. Number one. Number one. Number one. Neville the Pixie Frog. Oh boy. American bullfrogs, which are also known as pixie frogs, thanks to their scientific name that sounds similar, are large species that are native to most countries in Africa. They can be found living in a wide range but of can you get high from off dry me? savannas and scrublands to lakes. Can I see my dead grandparents if I but touch this toad? Kept in captivity tend to put on a lot more weight than they would do normally. The reason for this is that they are used to having to take food when it's available in the wild, because they never know for sure when they'll be able to eat next. Right. This, of course, isn't a concern when they're being kept as a pet. Oh my God! No. That, so we'll still eat every oh, it looks bit like of food a ball that's on of, offer. Uh, wasabi. Usually they weigh up to three pounds, but it's not unheard of for them to reach four or five pounds in a three tank. Three pounds! Wow. Not only do they eat more, but they don't get the opportunity for oh, as much this exercise, dude. so they won't burn off the calories anywhere near as quickly. As you can see, this results in individuals that will barely move to get their food. They're getting they lazy, do, man. He's chilling. They struggle. He can't even get it. Of moving around on their legs and instead resemble a ball rolling forward. He's too fat to bellies. eat. You poor thing. This, this was a lot of animal abuse. I don't know. I really wasn't expecting it, but uh, yeah, we saw some fat ass animals today. That was the cat. We start off with the cat, the dog, that last dog, number two. Oh, guys, feed your pets better. Or in some cases, don't feed them at all. No, that came out wrong. Feed, feed them responsibly. Guys, if you get a video like for me to watch or react to, you can tweet me at Troyden under the hashtag TroydenReacts. Thank you for watching, and kids, it's a Galaxy Opal!